What's up, Ranger Nation? My name is Alex Hu, and I got some really cool stuff to show you guys. It is some artwork and photos and, and drawings from the Rage Nation and they sent them to me and you know how I was doing the um, awesome Transformers photo of the day well you know I kind of um, just slacked off on doing that so I just want to show off some of the stuff that people have sent to me and we're gonna talk about it all in this video so in no particular order here we go and I want to start with this photo that I don't know who it belongs to but it was sent to me and this is a photo of Ironhide cosplay and it is the best looking Ironhide cosplay I've ever seen because of all the metal parts. I'm sure they're not metal, but the way it's been painted made it look like it's all metal. And you can see all the little detail that, that went into this. I mean, it's not just some cardboard and, 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 and styroboard or whatever put together. There's some actual work and moving parts that have uh, been put into making this costume possible. And that helmet, of course, is the uh, Optimus Prime voice changer helmet, but it's been modified to make it look like uh, it's Ironhide. All right, moving on, we have another photo from Alias Angel Alias. And this is some really great photography. This is a stormtrooper who comes in contact with some Autobots. And it is a really cool photo just because of the photography. It's great. And just all the Autobots assembled all together in front of this stormtrooper. It's just a funny looking photo. It says, Halt, I'm going to need to see your, uh, um, oh no, not again. <laughs> so there we go. The next uh, photo I have is from Carlos Guillermo Yanowski Ortega. And this is Megatron, Optimus Prime, Shockwave, and Sentinel Prime, and is made uh, using these. Um, I don't really know what this is. It looks like a, a cardboard and felt, and uh, I think it's all just cardboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's all cardboard and construction paper, and it looks just so unique and interesting. When I first saw that, I was thinking like, "Whoa, what are these guys made of?" That is really, really awesome. That's really creative. Take a look at that. Take a good look at that. That that looked really, really good. Moving on, we have two photos from Cedric, and these are uh, Autobot logo jack-o'-lanterns. And this is what it looks like as a pumpkin, and this is what it looks like lit up. So really, really cool. It'll be cool to just walk up to a doorstep on Halloween and see an Autobot logo all lit up, eh? Here's a drawing from Darren. Darren uh, drew this uh, pencil sketch of Shockwave. Really, really nice looking artwork. Speaking of artwork, we also have this from Julio Garza. This is Sideswipe. Really, really good looking. Once again, my favorite Autobot right there, captured in pencil. Look at all the little detail in the wheels and really cool stance. It really captures the essence of Sideswipe and his rollerblading madness. So pretty awesome. And here's a pencil drawing of Optimus after the fight with Sentinel Prime and Megatron. Here you can see he's wounded, his arm is missing, and this is by Michaela. The wonderful Michaela has once again given us some brilliant artwork for the Rage Nation, and here is another one of those. So keep up the good work, Michaela. And here's a collection photo from Joseph. This looks like the classics, Henke generations all combined in one. I'm not really sure, but uh, it's definitely a lot of the characters from the classics line. And I really like this line just because it's kind of like G1, but G1 reborn because like now they have all the articulation that the G1 uh, counterparts don't have. The G1 robot toys were only able to move in kind of like a 90 degree angles and they're really boxy. So they remade those and you have the classics line and I really love this line. I would love to get them all if I could. Naz from Malaysia sent me this awesome looking drawing of what Hot Rod would look like in a Cybertronian mode. And this definitely looks like something from a Cybertronian version of Hot Rod. Look at his shoulders, you know, all the, the tailpipes, they're all there. So this looks like what Hot Rod would have looked like in his Cybertronian mode. So good job, Naz, that looks brilliant. Pam sent me this drawing of Dino slash Mirage in his attack mode. This looks exactly like the scene where he was uh, threatening those uh, Middle Eastern uh, guards. So pretty cool, you see a little bit of blood on the blade. Uh, Pam mentioned that it took three hours to put this together and I can see why because look at all the, the, the not only the detail but the shading. The shading is just done really well. This is something that looks really good just because it's recognizable. Right away you can tell that this is Dino just like in that shot from the movie. But here's a photo of Sam's collection of uh, Transformers memorabilia. Sam was in Chicago during the filming of Dark of the Moon and he was actually able to get 
his DVDs autographed, and some really cool memorabilia from the movie while it was being made. First, you have two set debris rocks. One is featured behind Eddie's foot in this photo. And also, he has uh, signatures from Michael Bay, Ian Bryce, Harry Humphreys. He's the technical military advisor in the movie. Uh, Dylan Stubbs, Peter Cullen, and Mark Ryan. Other things included are the call sheet stickers and film reel ID labels. So that is really cool. I'm really uh, glad to see that uh, you were able to get such a close glimpse of the movie and the filming in progress because, you know, that would have been like a once in a lifetime or a one of a kind experience. So really, really awesome. For me, that would be just like a, a big fanboy dream to me. Moving on, we have some custom artwork from uh, Sanjeet. And this is a custom paint job for Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave. Soundwave has been painted in these uh, dark gunmetal silver type of colors. He's really shiny as you can see. And I really like this read paint just because you got the, the, the blue and gold that uh, everybody knows from Soundwave, the original version of Soundwave, but you have a more updated version of himself by giving him this metallic look. So I really like that. Good job for doing that, Shanjit. I really like the way he looks. I like that he's kind of like dirty, and this is just really good looking. And here's a drawing from Xavian. Uh, Xavian has drawn one of my favorite G1 characters, Soundwave, looking really good. Good job on that. And here is, of course, Optimus Prime in full color, red, blue, and gray. There you have it. Looking good. Keep up the good work, Xavian. Here is some Photoshop work from Molly. This is Molly's room. Molly has some Autobot uh, window curtains and outside of that window is Optimus Prime looking in. And so it's just like that scene in the first movie with Optimus Prime looking in Sam Wickwick's bedroom. In this photo, instead he's looking into Molly's bedroom. <laughs> and there you have it. This is just a, a brief collection of some really really cool artwork, drawings, photos from the Rage Nation and they were kind enough to share it with me and I just want to share it with you guys because I think that uh, everybody did a great job with everything they've shown me. If you have some photos you want to send to me and show me, you can send it to me at review at gmail.com and maybe your artwork, photo or drawing can be featured as the next awesome Transformers photo of the day. My name is Alexi and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Recent acquisition, Starscream. Um, oh, pff, Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, all right. Let's not.